we're back with another tier list guys but this time we're not just doing stats we're actually using the stats melee health and defense and we're making multipliers for let's say skills and different benefits let's say if it's an android not an android do they have health and key drain for example cells uh second form their ultimates is it unblockable is it not unblockable do they have a heavy throw do they not have so we have all this stuff all packed into this and spread across all characters equally let's get into it all right guys so getting into it and looking at this first list so this is going to be trashed here we're at the bottom of the bottom right and the first thing that catches my eye is how low Mr. Satan is. I know everyone's like, oh, he's terrible. But it's like when you understand how this list is made to equally distribute all the skills, blasts, and benefits of all the characters. Because we had some people before that was like, oh, well, this character has this and you didn't count that. Or this character has that, you didn't count that. And it's like, first off, I love that. Please comment like what you guys think. And so that way we can make these lists more accurate because we're not perfect and no, like we, we will forget things. And they were absolutely right. We, so what this list did is I was able to make multipliers for every single skill in the game and apply it to each character with that skill. So that way it's equal across the entire board. Um, that was for skills. We Then we looked at throws. Is it a heavy throw? Is it a light throw? Does it gain health? Does it gain key? What does it do? And then we give a multiplier for each of those. It, it, is the character an android? Is it not an android? Um, you get a multiplier for that. Does Do they have armor? Do they have um, armor in sparking mode? We, we count all that stuff. So we, we count everything that we possibly can in the game um, <clears throat> for this list. And then we take that number and we that's the multiplier. And we multiply that number by their stats. Now their stats are determined between their defense, their health, and their melee. We found an accurate way to... Uh, essentially make an overall stat and then we multiply it by their skills throws and all the other multipliers for the character to get this overall stat that does include skills and essentially abilities um i know we did the ultimate damage and we also figured out every single ultimate that was blockable or unblockable that has its own you know um its own multiplier on it so <laughs> there's so much stuff that goes into it right well hercule or mr satan for example this character <clears throat> he is a dp of one so we take that overall stat and we divide it into their dp limit so if you're a five it's whatever that overall stat is divided by five if you're a 10 divided by 10 if you're a one it's divided by one which is not affected at all so that means every single character in the game their stats divided by their dp is still stronger than mr satan that is crazy that is like i knew this character was terrible like for a fighting standpoint but that that's like that's completely nuts um <laughs> so i mean on this list um some things to note like uh, some other things and bear with me for a sec right because i think this list is going to be super useful to everyone so but you, it's only useful if you understand it. So this list will not, and bear with me, because we're gonna bring it back, right? So it's not gonna take transformations into account. Um, I have not found an accurate way to put that on the spreadsheet where it would actually be accurate. However, this is, so when, as we go through this list, I want you guys to keep that in mind. Like when you see a 10 DP character, and let's say it's really high up on the tier list, that should red flag you saying like, okay, if I transform into that and he's worth this much with his DP, I can make it lower by transforming into him. And that would make him even more valuable, maybe even, you know, higher essentially. So this doesn't tell you exactly where they are from a transformation standpoint, but I want you guys to keep that in mind. And maybe we'll talk over a few 
as we get later on in the higher tiers, we, we'll see like a nine, an eight, or a ten that's like high up, and we'll be like, whoa, like, you know. So that's because <clears throat> I think stuff like that should be a red flag for you guys. Be like, hey, look here, this character is so good that even when you divide everything he has by eight, nine, ten, he's still this high up on the list. So definitely keep keep your eyes on that. And another thing is keep your eyes on the characters that are not transformable. Like, like for example, this list. Like, we have Bobbity and Great Saiyaman and Evil Boo. These characters I would absolutely avoid. However, if you look at Tapo, well, yeah, you could avoid playing Tapo. Or he is a transformation. So it's like, it, how good is what is the god of destruction topo you know in the game so we're gonna have to go through the list and we'll find that and depending on how high that topo is depends on if this one is viable because you can choose this one to transform into that one so yeah anyways guys uh, other than that uh bobbity dispo that i really think like they are the, like the worst of the worst characters in the game which really stinks because i would really like to I would really, I wish they gave more love to Dispo because it's not that I dislike him or anything. Like, I think he's really cool. I just, for the the developers of this game, just did not like him as much as I did apparently. But yeah, and yet again, remember this, guys. That Super Saiyan 4 Goku, he's he's an eight. You can transform into him, sure. But this should be another red flag, you know, to you guys. If you see an eight and he's at the very bottom, like he is right here, that means he's not really that good. But if you see an eight and he's at the top of the tier list, those are the ones you're going to want to transform into. So if you transform into Super Saiyan 4 and DP battles currently, I think you're kind of wasting a lot of DP there. Uh, unless like and don't get me wrong i always tell you to choose the characters you love not to choose characters just because it's the best character to play but i i still want to arm you guys with the information so that way you can make those decisions on your own so let's go to the next one right so now we're at low tier we're getting slightly better um <clears throat> so we see some eights on here so we see uh, Jiren. Do you remember Jiren can transform? So it still it still matters where his next transformation is. Um, we see uh, Goku Black yet again. You could transform into him, but still he's so low on the list that I don't know if I would really bother transforming into him. Same thing with Golden Frieza, which you know, like I don't know. Like I, I personally, I, I dislike how low they are because I really like Golden Frieza, um, and, and Rose is pretty cool too. Uh, other than that, just so you guys know, we did take the androids uh, key into consideration for this, so these androids are exactly where they should be for the for the list, um, and we'll explain and gave kind of an overview of how we came up with this at the end so that way if you guys could look over that if you think that it's unjust or we need to change something please let us know so we can update the list later and we're going to take as many critiques as we can so that way the community can kind of work on this to make it the best list that it can be uh, but i do see that it's pretty good at the moment so uh vegeta scouter yet again just depends on where his transformation is i would avoid playing any of the characters on this list that's non-transformable or are already in the highest transformations so that that would just be <clears throat> that would just be personal preference was there okay super saiyan go tanks is here and super saiyan 3 go tanks is low tier got it um yeah, so let's go to the next one. Um, so this is going to be below average, right? Below average. Um, I mean, some that just so you know, um, I think Melee Trunks is a six, I would like to say. Uh, I didn't have a photo with his number on it, but I'm pretty sure he is a six. <clears throat> that being said, all the other characters. Uh, Oh, another thing is we also put a multiplier for the Super Saiyan Sword Trunks 
Um, apparently they fixed it for the base form, but the Super Saiyan version can still do the glitch where he sidesteps out of people's, uh, out of their vanishes. So yeah, anyways, um, these are going to be below average. They're somewhat useful, but you're still really trying to hit over a hurdle. Um, some of these characters, like, let's say corrupted Zamasu, right? Um, well, gosh, like, look at that. Like, even, it doesn't matter if you Zamasu and Corrupted is, is really that far. But it's really funny how Corrupted Zamasu is slightly higher than Fuse. Because I always thought it was the other way around. But yet again, the stats are equally distributed through the characters. So that way, it, you know, that's that's how it ended up. So that that is probably the most accurate way to look at it. Um, <clears throat> other than that, like these characters are ones that I wouldn't too much prefer to play. Um, th not if you're trying to be the best of the best for, uh, for that. All right. So now we're in average, right? So I want to do one point out to the, at the average because so many people, so many people commented saying you forgot cells, second forms, grab, you forgot to calculate that in. He's like the most OP character in the game. And um, to that, I would like to you guys to know, I took his stats. I did all the multipliers for everything. So for his skills, I think he got like a 1.2 multiplier for solar flare and his other skill didn't get a multiplier at all because it's terrible. And essentially he didn't i don't think he, he might have got other multipliers but for the most part he didn't because he's just a terrible character like he, his stats are terrible his skills are terrible his supers are terrible um the only thing good about cell second form the only thing is his heavy throw into um because it drains their key their in their health and it replenishes yours but it's a heavy version of that. It's kind of like Android 19 and Dr. Zero in a way, but it's the heavy version of that. So you can't tech it. So a lot of people are like, well, you could just hit them in the gut, do it or turn them around and do it. I want to say, yes, you can hit them in the gut and do it. No, you cannot turn them around and do it. Uh, if you turn them around and they hit X and A at the same time, or if they just, you know, hold the send button, they will get out of it every time. Um, you can trick them as well, though. You could trick them and then do a grab, and they can't get out of that. So you could either trip them, or you could do a gut punch. I think they call it heavy finish in this game. Uh, yeah, so if you if you could do either one of those uh, and get away with it. So I think Cell's multiplier for his throw was 50%, which is huge. So, like, he got a massive bonus off of his throw so before anyone says like well you know you didn't do enough for the throw i mean 50 percent is a lot <laughs> like it, it means like essentially he's one and a half times better than without it so i mean i, I think that's fairly reasonable and respectful of a increase but i think this is the first two that we're seeing too chaozu reigning in at the lowest two I don't think I don't think there was a a two on the other ones. Mmm. Ah. Yep. No, he's the first two. So Chaozu is the weakest two in the game. Uh, whenever you take his stats and his multipliers. So that is something to know. Now you're starting to see. So this is really interesting. I also think that uh, Weiss being a ten is interesting. Did we have a 10 before Whis? Is this the first 10? So Whis is the weakest 10. No, is that is that true? That seems to be true. Okay, so Whis is the weakest 10. Interesting. So that that's something to that's something to think about. Um, you know, Whis being so so weak uh as for all the other tents i'm seeing in comparison to the other tents uh, but i mean that being said he does get barrier he does get snack time 
he has the same stats as uh, Beerus. So there are some good things about Whis. So don't don't think he's he's not useless. And also, this is the average tier. So like here's where we start really getting uh, better. It's just when you take Whis's stats and divide it by ten, he ends up average. Whereas like this, for example, Super Saiyan three Goku divided by seven is slightly ahead of him. And I think that's a really good way uh, to think about it, too. So let's see the next one. OK, so now we're above average. So now we're it's really funny. Like now we're starting to see a lot more tens, right? Like you get to see Beerus, you get to see Gogeta, Super Saiyan 4. Um, yes, yeah, so Blue Vegito and Broly. So now these are th OK, so these are ones that now we're starting to get in the above average, right? And the thing about a lot of these characters, like for example, Broly, right? Broly is at the very top of this list, the very top of the above average. And that is all of the stats and multipliers divided by nine. So that character is extremely strong. So if you start out with base form Broly and then transform into Broly and he's this strong divided by 10 or I'm sorry, divided by nine, then him divided by five because Broly's a five, right? Like he would be a very strong pick. Another notable mention uh, is Tapo, right? So Tapo right here is God of Destruction. He's above average. He's he's an eight. Is it? Yeah, so he's an eight, but his I don't like him too much because the character that transforms into him is a seven. So do, do with that what you will. Um, yeah, I personally play Tien. I think Tien is a great character. I like playing Oob as well. I know a lot of people like Jiro. Uh, Dr. Jiro did get a multiplier for being an Android. He also got another multiplier for his grab. So he gets he gets uh since he has the healing and key blast or key drain with his grab he got a, he got a buff there since he's an android he gets a buff there, um, and he also gets a buff for his skills like I think he has false courage if I remember correctly, so he gets a buff there, uh, on top of his stats and divided by four and that's that's where he ended up so this is still we're starting to get into the more playable characters I would say, in this range but yeah so we. So Omega Shinron's in here. King Cold is this this impressive for King Cold, I guess. So let's go to the next one, right? Okay. Now I actually like playing a lot of these characters. So for example, now you're starting to see characters that are lower on the DP scale, right? We're starting to see a lot of twos, threes, fours. However, we still see Jiren full power. That's incredible that he's up there. But let's take under consideration, right, that his his tra his base transformation is an eight, right? So if, if his base transformation is an eight, we're not really saving a lot of DP by transforming into him. And even though he's this good when you divide him by nine, I think Broly would be a better pick because you could, tr because remember this list doesn't talk about transformation. So that's why I want to highlight a few. So if you think Broly Z, which is above Broly, uh, above the other one, I think that's because of his ultimate multiplier because his ultimate is unblockable. Um, so plus it does a lot of damage, but I I'm pretty sure that was the main difference, but this, this calculates skills, ultimates uh throw i mean it, it calculates so much information so the, my my opinion looking at this is i think that legendary super saiyan broly from dragon ball z would be a better pick because you could get him as a five jiren you have to spend eight dp points for him so that's a problem even super vegeto like you could get him as a seven and transform into him. So I think that that's still slightly better uh, than a than an eight. So, yeah. So the other thing is Kale. Look how high Kale Berserk is. She's pretty high up on the list. Like to be fair, like that's 
that's pretty high. Um, now, all of the lower tier, like, uh, not lower tier, but lower DP numbers, they make sense because you're dividing their stats by a lower number. So, for example, Kid Gohan, you take his his stats as multiplier, you divide by three. Well, that's a lot easier to, to overcome than a seven. And rightfully so, but those numbers mean a lot whenever you're talking about DP because they, what does the numbers like mean, essentially? It means how many characters can you have on your team? And it means how long your switch timer is. You know, for example, if you're a uh, DP one, that's five seconds. DP two is 10 seconds. DP three is 15. DP four is 19, 23, 27, I think. And it goes up and up from there. I think a 10 is uh, 43 seconds. So yeah. Um, so Super Saiyan Future Trunks right here, uh, he was also, he also gets the sword animation glitch buff. Uh, that's a 50% buff. That's a massive buff. But I think it's it, it's genuinely uh, a very broken aspect of the game that makes him 50% better than what he would be without it. So just so you understand, like if you're not doing the, the glitch in the game where you're sidestepping uh, with, with sword trunks, then he would be a lot lower on the list. So that's just one thing to, to have a mental note for. Um, other than that, um, Bardock is up here as well. Now, look, we're at the high tier, right? Like, there's only one tier above this one, and that's it. So Bardock being where he is, that puts him as one of the highest fours in the game. Now, I see, like, okay, well, we have Lord Slug for some reason above him and uh, Team Gohan, and I... I have no idea like why Lord Slug is there, but just for the fact of like I have I don't remember his skills, but I know all the skill multipliers give you the same. However, Bardock has an insane multiplier on Shockwave of Rebellion. It's one of the biggest multipliers in the game, mainly because it's one of the most broken items in or, I'm sorry, broken skills in the game. So I think it's a 60% increase in stats just because of shockwave of rebellion so like for people thinking we're underselling bardock he gets a massive buff just because of that and i think the reason team gohan is higher than him is because he has full power charge which is arguably the best skill in the game slightly better than shockwave of rebellion along with after image strike is uh, you know another uh skill that's better than shockwave of rebellion so like i think they get so those there's three skills in the game that give you an 80 percent buff which is just absolutely ridiculous um it's after image strike full power charge 60 percent buff is going to be your shockwave of rebellion that's the only one in the game uh sensu bean is an 80 percent buff as well for yajirobe um because i i do believe if and, and it arguably should be a hundred percent buff not an 80 percent just for the fact that um he's almost guaranteed to get it off one time which is essentially multiplying your character by two on top of everything and i i think if you took that skill away from yajirobe and gave it to any half decent character it would immediately break the game like that character would instantly be the strongest character in the game um right there like for like like for example um put it on z early z early is really low on the tier list i think even though he's a four so he's really terrible but if he had sensor beam boom he would instantly be way closer to the top of the list like just bam right there um now the reason i think pan is up there after a strike cell jr is because of stats um let's see I'm trying to think of if you i really like playing yamcha he is he is after image but he also has a power up to the very limit it's really good um super saiyan adult gohan this is something to make a mental note about guys like he's a six and look how high he is like he's at the top of this list as a six and you can transform from his base form which is a four and i'm pretty sure we haven't seen his base form yet so yeah that, that's definitely something to look out for zamasu is up here with after image strike he's doing good 
and let's go to the very final list the very final tier all right so just looking at this right now i mean i'm starting to see like a lot of for example a lot of giants um so we did add giants into this list and apparently giants in dp battles are at the top of the list even though grade eight baby is a seven his stats with multipliers still put him at the very top of the list um is adult gohan oh there he is yep right in front of ginyu so the best two uh four dp characters in the game is apparently adult gohan number one ginyu number two now ginyu is one of those really cool characters where he he's just a cheese right like first off if you take his skills away you take his ultimates away his fighting style is actually really good he feels really smooth and he has pretty decent uh skill or i'm sorry not skills but uh rush chains so he's a pretty decent character like overall he has decent stats as well that being said he's not like too crazy uh right but his ultimate cheese on top of having a sparking instant sparking that's really where his bread and butter is because you could fight with him then you could switch out then you can bring him back in and then you get instant sparking into a body change against a new character or let's say they have a problem character i actually was playing ranked yesterday and i took out someone's i i took out two characters i think they were about three dp each i took out the first three dp i took out the second three dp i don't really remember who they are um i think one one of them was krillin with half a strike and then i can't remember what the other three i think i think it was a raccoon so it was like raccoon i took out raccoon i took out krillin and then broly came in and then i body changed with broly and it's like that's like just i mean don't granted you're not gonna be able to take out characters like that but the fact that you're trading ginyu for their broly because if you th if you think about their team right like broly is supposed to transform and be this powerhouse right like that's you're really trying to you know put a lot of energy into having broly on there or a lot of effort into your dp limit and ginyu can just scratch the slate you know with that so which is really funny because my my ginyu was almost dead when i did that and then i killed the ginyu with my broly and, or with his broly technically um yeah anyways okay so uh some other stuff let's see um yeah man it's just giant city right now like for dp battles it is just giant city um you you got frieza so soldier he has full power charge you got masaroshi krillin videl with uh after image strike spopovich it's funny because spopovich doesn't even have that big of a multiplier guys like his like he has a 1.2 multiplier with false courage right and that's really it so he is where he stands just because of stats alone like just stats and i'm not really sure i think i think one of the roshis is a unblockable ultimate whichever one it is um or if it's both i i, I can't remember every single character in the game but i just want you guys to know whichever one that is it is um calculated another thing is i think I think i can't remember if it was daima or kid goku one of those had um had uh armor on their spark which i thought was crazy i'm like why does this character have armor uh, another notable mention right now because I, I see a lot of people say oh well, napa's not good napa's so this is what we're talking about when we say napa's good right he's in the broken tier as a three and yes, he's a three. That's not a. That, that's one of the reasons he's up here. Is because he's such a low DP. But think about this: Nappa has zero multipliers. He doesn't have a heavy grab. He doesn't have that good of an ultimate. He doesn't have any multipliers on his skills. He doesn't have an unblockable ultimate. He does have. He does have one multiplier, which he gets armor whenever he is in sparking which i think is like a five percent multiplier so it's a very small multiplier but we do we do have it in there for him but that's it so he essentially is one of the characters in the game that have zero multipliers on him for the most part this character is literally holding his own with pure stats 
like his stats it, look he is the defense of Beerus he has the health of Beerus he has the melee of a Super Saiyan Goku so uh, and he's a DP3 like that's that's a lot of stats in a three now granted Raccoon has all those stats and slightly higher offense and he has good skills with a super explosive wave for an ultimate which is really good it is blockable but it's still a super explosive wave uh, so it's really hard to avoid and so like raccoon is arguably like he's just better because raccoon's the best in the game for dp unless you're talking giants right if we take giants out of this out of the scenario raccoon is king um but you know another thing is like yajirobe is still coming in really high up as the second strongest character even after the nerf so that that's that's quite interesting as well same thing with roshi and i really don't like super zarbon i'm not gonna lie to you i do not like playing him but and i'm not even sure if he's a 3dp uh actually let me check that real quick i really don't know if he's a three and I don't want to point because I didn't make the pictures that was off tier list maker so personally I did not do that let me see so we're on the tier list and I don't think it's gonna be here let's go to stats real quick yeah there we go and then we're gonna scroll over to DP I'll switch okay there we go. So it has the DP cost. And we are looking for Zarbon. He is a 3 DP. Okay, well that that's that's kind of impressive. For him being a 3 DP, we'll we'll agree that you know that that he's pretty he's pretty good uh, for three. So yeah, anyways, um other than that guys, like I mean Krillin has the you know krillin has the, the after every strike the doria is pretty much all stats as well like that's just a heavy hitter with stats he does have false courage so if you guys are interested in that um android 16 is coming in as the highest normal size character five in the game so that's something to to think about and uh also base broly is coming in pretty high as well because if if we look at the other broly he was lower let's let's go look for him real quick let's see where is the other base broly let's see if we can find him. oh there he is he's all the way down to average so i'm guessing that's a skill multiplier because i'm pretty sure their stats are almost the same um, so I'm guessing that's where the skills are just better on Z, Z Broly. However, Z Broly's Legendary Super Saiyan came in a lot higher than Legendary Super Saiyan for the Dragon Ball Super Broly. So that's something to, to be under. Yeah, that's something to think about. Uh, I want so that that basically wraps up the character tier list, guys. Um, actually, here, let's give you guys a quick overview. So this is all the characters, um, except for where it says Tier Maker. For some reason, that's blocking out a few. That's blocking out three. It's Herodegarn, Spopovich, and Videl. But if we go over here to the, to the full list, you can see the entire list of characters. This is 182 characters. So, yep. Other than that, oh, no, it it, it just pushed them below the Tier, tier Maker. Uh, yeah, I see, I see that now, because... If you see, like, they just start Harutagarn on the next line. That's interesting. Okay. But yeah, so that is, this is the whole list. And we, we did not miss any characters. And I know some people are, you know, say, uh, complaining about the last one. I think in video editing, maybe we zoomed in too far and they cut out, like, some of the ones on the side or something. But we, we want to make sure, double check, triple check, make sure that never happens again. So that way you guys can see every single character. So we're going to take really good care of you guys on this video and the next one. So let's go over the stats real quick for for the tier list makers. So we're going to go over here to the tiers and we're going to show you guys these, right? So first off, we can see Zarbon here and he's he's going to be a 3, but that being said, this is not this is just for tiers. This isn't his main stats. And this is organized in order. So it tells you each character in the order that they are. So this is essentially the same list as the pictures. It's just in stat form. So this is 
calculating their skill one, skill two, and ultimate, so that way we can read it. And here is the multiplier. So for example, if we look at the sparking armor, if it says one, then it doesn't get a multiplier. So this character doesn't have um, armor, right? So Yajirobe has armor and so does Raccoon. But why is Raccoon a 1.2 and Yajirobe a 1.1, right? So 1.1 is because he has no instant spark. If you have instant sparking, and you have armor and, and sparking then you get a 1.2 because it's a lot more likely that you're going to uh, get that in there we also calculate if the character has armor or not so does this character have armor yes or no and then depending on that you see this right here if they have armor they get a 15 percent buff if they don't they get a no. then we have the armor stagger right so this is how many hits they have to do in order to stagger the enemy so this right here is armor break so if you see the maximum is a 1.2 for one hits uh one is nothing and then if you, we go down here four is nothing three is a five percent and i don't think there's two so it's either a 1.2 or a, uh 1.05 for the armor break and then we have the throw multiplier as well. So this is, if it's a heavy throw, you get a 1% increase. I don't think it's that good. So we're gonna, because it ends your combo for the most part. Um, or you, if you have a light throw, it's gonna be a one. However, there's characters like this, right? Where it's Android 19. Well, he is a 1.2 because his throw is, is so good. It's a light throw, plus it drains key and health. Well, if we look down here as well, right? Dr. Giro has it, Cell First Form has it, but look at this, Cell Second Form has a 50% increase, a 1.5% increase to his, uh, it, yeah, to, to his uh, um, overall stats. Like that, that's the multiplier for his throw. So, so we definitely gave him a lot for just his throw. Then we go for the skill multipliers. Uh, this is, so depending on what skills you have, so for example, this right here is a barrier. You can see that is 1.2. And then if we go look at this 1.8 right here, it is after a strike with Videl. That is that one. So that's, yeah, because if we, if we line up Videl right here, that, that, that is that right there. So that is a lot of them. let's see 1.3 so 1.3 is probably our average for skills we put in, i know these numbers are really big like 1.8 is really big 1.6 is really big 1.3 we do believe that skills is one of the most is the biggest things in the game so this right here this 1.3 is wild sense so wild sense explosive wave after image is going to be your 1.3s, your solar flares, your uh, and stuff like that will be uh, 1.2. So yeah, that's so we're calculating that. Uh, do the same thing for your skill, uh, your second skill. Then we take the ultimate, right? Now let's go over here to blast real quick. So see if we can find the ultimate multiplier. So we so the ultimate multiplies by. It, it, if they're unblockable, they get a certain amount. I'm sorry, I don't mean to confuse you guys. So, uh, I, because I, I lost where we uh, we did the multiplication. So right here, though, for example, this character, Android 19, apparently he is 1.2. Let me see if there's any character with more. So what we did is, if the character has, uh, let's say, a Oh, well, we're, we're looking at the wrong list. I'm sorry. So here, over here. Okay, so so this right here. So Raccoon, for example, has a, uh, an ultimate that does above 15,000 damage. So if, if it does less than 15,000 or less, then you get no multiplier. 15,000 to 20,000, I think is 5%. 20,000 and above is 10%. If you do a self-destruction, it takes away the multiplier completely. Um, so yeah, that being said, if you have a character that has a, oh, I know how it is. I'm sorry. 
I, I, I'm mixing you guys up a little bit. My apologies. So it's it's one point one percent. If it if you have a damage higher than fifteen thousand, damage higher than twenty thousand is one point two percent. And then if you have an unblockable, it's one point three percent. However, we take the unblockable number and we take the um, the damage calculation and we average them together to get this. And that's why you see 1.05. For example, he is a 1.1 and a 1 averaged into each other. So if you take those, that would be 2.10 divided by 2 is um, yeah, 2.0, or I'm sorry, 1.05. And that, that's how that number, uh, that's how we get to that number. So yeah, that, that's how we figured out the ultimate multiplier. And then we have the, we have a 1.2 for any androids. So all androids get a 1.2 for their key. And, and then we have a miscellaneous as well, where we have for the sword trunks and they get their multiplier there. This is going to be your overall DP score. So if you look at it, it is all of your multipliers added into each other subtracted by eight because and the reason we're doing that is because you're taking eight different numbers uh i'm sorry nine i think one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so you take nine different numbers right and you add them all up so let's say you have 1.2 and 1.3 that equals 2.5 but then if you subtract one it's back to 1.5 so it just takes all those additional uh, numbers so that way it's a one point something or if they if you have enough let's say you have a 1.3 and a 1.8 and it makes it a 3.1 then it would only subtract one so you would still be a 2.1 so there is there's chances of that but essentially it takes all the extra ones off of the end of it so that way it's one top you know one point whatever your multiplier is and then that equals this and this is your overall role uh, let's Look at this, like <laughs> Satan is all the way down here, even though he's divided by one. Cause like, that, I, I, that is just, to me, that's like, that's crazy. Um, so yeah, that's, so he's divided by one. So he, look, this is the singles score, um, but th this needs to be changed. So don't pay too much of attention to it. But that being said, uh, his score, is the same because this one is divided or this one isn't divided by anything this one is divided by one and you can still see he's 560 points below the next character which is the worst second worst character in the game i guess which is mecha frieza but yeah so anyways guys um that should be that should wrap up this video if you guys could let us know uh if you think that we should value certain things more than others and if we're valuing one thing too much uh let us know we're gonna try to edit and make the and critique this list uh until we can have a really good accurate way to get a competitive tier list that is unbiased and that is just accurate across all characters right like we want to evenly distribute the same values to every single character in here um other than that guys i i really appreciate you guys so much for watching the video thank you so much i really appreciate the support uh if there's any other videos please leave them in the comments below i try to look at all the uh comments a lot of times if i haven't replied to you it's either i don't know and i want to test it before i reply or that i just don't have time because there's so many people messaging me between youtube discord um the website like i, I i'm a plateful but i'm and that's not even including real life uh work and stuff like that so yeah if you guys could though um like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one